We are going to see clouds increasing, but still need the sunglasses for the entire day today. 54 will be our high. That'll be about 4 o'clock, slipping back into the lower 50s for 5 o'clock. And we'll see sunset right around 6.02 tonight. All right, uh, rain overnight tonight towards 3, 4 o'clock in the morning. You start to see we're getting wet. But then you see the real big push uh, between 7 and 8 o'clock in the morning for rush hour showers. Could be heavy at times, and by the time we dry out in Thursday evening into the overnight, some locations could top out at over an inch of rain. So a good soaking coming our way. And then it is going to turn slightly colder as we get into Saturday. We're going to have our coldest day of the period. Highs only averaging about 32. 54 today, nowhere near record, but we'll take it. 37 tonight. Uh, shower chance mainly after midnight, and it's going to be isolated. Not everyone will see rain. Everyone will see rain, though, through the morning hours and into the afternoon. Could be a break right around 3, 4 o'clock, but another push into the evening before we dry out into Friday. Friday, uh, temps upper 30s. We starting to cool down. Uh, still a lingering shower chance. We're going to hold on to that for Friday morning. Mainly cloudy in the afternoon. Saturday, it's going to be a cold day. 32 degrees. Could see a few flurries. Not expecting any major snow with that. Big push of warm air comes right back into the valley Monday. We're going to be in the mid-50s, near 60 on Tuesday. But we have a system coming through. It's going to bring another soaking rain for us for Tuesday. And then temperatures dropping Wednesday afternoon with a chance for a rain changing over to a snow mix as we cool down.